When people turned up in Australia about 65,000 years ago, there was maybe eight or 14 different types of megafauna species still surviving in Australia. And then over the next 20,000 years, they all seem to have gone extinct. In this case, the Diprotodon, it's a massive animal, about 2.8 tonnes, so the size of a white rhino. So if you're looking at that, it would provide a huge fur that would be very useful for tents or clothing or bags or anything. Its teeth are like ready-made axe blades. Its bones would be really useful for making things and it would provide a lot of meat for a community. So if you saw one of those, you'd think it'd be an obvious target at least occasionally for people to get raw materials and to feed their families, but we have none of, none of that, no evidence for that happening. For this study, we took a new look at a depredator on two, so one of its front teeth, to see if there was the, the little cut marks that we could see in it that were originally thought to be maybe made by stone tools, were made by stone tools or not, because for a long time, people had thought it probably wasn't the case, but they hadn't looked into it again properly. Obviously since then our technologies, our microscopes have come a long way and we can see a lot better. So when we did look at it, we ruled out stone tools very quickly. It didn't look like stone tool cut marks when you look at them up close. Uh, they look like they were made by other teeth. Uh, so then it become trying to work out whose teeth. All the usual suspects, like animals you'd expect to be chewing on things, because most mammals will chew on bones occasionally to get the nutrients from them. We were able to narrow it down to a few different species and then eventually came down to a southern spotted quoll. They're notorious scavengers with big bite force. In the end, they're an obvious candidate of having chewed on this tooth just a few times and then left again. So that's where the marks came from.